We now look at another example of an exam style question involving the factor theorem for polynomials. And that's the example we see here. We're given that x minus 3 and x minus 2 are factors of f of x, which equals 2x cubed, plus px squared, plus x, plus q, and we need to find the values of both p and q. To do this, let me start by moving the question to the side, like so. Since we're looking for two unknowns, namely p and q, we're going to need two equations. To obtain those two equations, we need to use each of the two bits of information that were given in the question. The first being that x minus 3 is a factor, the second that x minus 2 is a factor. So to begin with, let's focus on the factor x minus 3. The factor theorem that we have here allows us to state the following. If x minus 3 is a factor, then f of 3 must equal to 0. But furthermore, if we replace x by 3 inside this expression we have for f of x, we obtain the following. f of 3 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 3 plus p times 3 squared plus 3 plus q. That's f of 3 equals to 3 cubed, which is 27, plus p times 3 squared, that's p times 9, so that's 9p, plus 3 plus q. Finally, gathering this 27 and this 3, we can see that f of 3 must equal to 30 plus 9p plus q. But since f of 3 equals to 0, we can replace the left-hand side of this equation by 0, leading us to 0 equals to 30 plus 9p plus q, which we can rearrange to write 9p plus q equals to negative 30. And that's our first equation. And in fact, I'll go ahead and call it E1, E as in equation. Now, to obtain a second equation, we use the second piece of information we were given. That was that x minus 2 is a factor. Now, since x minus 2 is a factor, the factor theorem allows us to write that f of 2 must equal to 0. But if we replace every x inside the expression for f of x by 2, we obtain the following. f of 2 equals to 2 raised to the power of 3 plus p times 2 squared plus 2 plus q. That's f of 2, which equals to 2 cubed, which is 8, plus p times 2 squared, so that's p times 4, so I'll just write 4p plus 2 plus q. Gathering the 8 and the 2, we find that f of 2 has to equal to 10 plus 4p plus q. But just as we saw for the first equation, since we know that f of 2 must equal to 0, we can replace the left-hand side of this last expression by 0, leading us to 0 equals to 10 plus 4p plus q. And we can rearrange this to write 4p plus q equals to negative 10. And that's our second equation, which I'll call E2. And at this stage, we have two equations with two unknowns, and we can solve these simultaneously. Indeed, we have 9p plus q equals to negative 30, as well as 4p plus q equals to negative 10. And remember, I had called the top equation E1 and the bottom equation E2. Now, to solve this, I'm going to proceed by elimination. And for that, I'm going to subtract E2 from E1. So let me just write E1 minus E2. Now, subtracting E2 from E1, we obtain the following. We have 9p minus 4p, so that leaves us with 5p. We then have q minus q, which equals to 0. So we've eliminated the q on the left-hand side. And we can state that this equals to negative 30 minus negative 10. So that's negative 30 plus 10. In other words, that's negative 20. We now divide both sides of this equation by 5, which leads us to p equals to negative 20 divided by 5, which is negative 4. And we now have the value of the coefficient p. And to find the value of the coefficient q, we can use either one of the two equations we had, so that was e1 or e2, and replace p by negative 4 and solve for q. So I'll go ahead and use the first equation we have here. So that was e1, which was 9p plus q equals to negative 30, 
And if I replace p by negative 4, that becomes 9 times negative 4 plus q equals to negative 30. Now, 9 times negative 4 is negative 36, plus q equals to negative 30. Finally, adding 36 to both sides of this equation leads to q equals to negative 30 plus 36, which equals to 6. And we now have the value of the coefficient q. And to complete the exercise, I like to rewrite the polynomial function that we had, replacing p and q by their respective values. So that would be f of x equals to x to the power of 3 minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. And that's the final answer. And so that's how we can solve this typical exam style question in which we're given two factors of a polynomial and we're asked to find two unknown coefficients. And that's it for this tutorial.